hooked up. Oh god, we just got another monster. How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. Today I'm in Southeast Ohio. I'm in the middle of the Wayne National Forest and this is a little creek that flows through and goes out to one of the main creeks of the area. Undisclosed location. I want to kind of keep the secret. This little spot on the down low because I've been fishing it for about four or five years now. I've caught some awesome fish out of here especially for a little creek like this. So today we're gonna to go after largemouth bass. Um, I've seen, I've been seeing some spawning activity the past few days that I've been out fishing and I just caught that big female that you guys seen in the last video right near the shore, probably pre-staging for the spawn. If not already getting ready to lay her eggs now because I caught her a few days ago. So we're gonna try this creek back here, try to get some underwater footage for you guys today with some bass on some beds. Throw some baits in front of them, see if they'll hit them on camera for me today. Stay tuned for the action. Let's go see if we can't catch some fish. Let's go! Alrighty, before we get started today, do a quick gear check. I got my 6.8 medium fast action, 10 pound power pro braid, 2500 Daiwa Kage. This is the little bullet finesse with the leech, the Nico leech. This is actually the eclipse color. It's got a nice little orange tail. Hopefully that'll trigger some strikes here in this. Uh, the water's got a about a foot and a half or two of visibility so hopefully they can see that little tail we can get some strikes on it today all right so we have a very aggressive male on a bed here i'm going to get the underwater camera see if we can't get his reaction underwater to this leech we'll try some other baits too to try to get him try to entice him to bite on camera underwater all right i got the camera in place let's see what kind of action we can get That is a nice creek bass. Chill out, buddy. He's full of fight. There we go. That's the male that's on the nest over there. Got that bite underwater. We'll set him by his nest. It's right over here, about five feet. It's a nice 12 incher, 13. Probably a pound, pound and a quarter. Here you go, buddy. Let's see if a little bluegill presentation slow rolled by their nest will make them angry and hit it. Oh god, I got the female. Stay low, stay low. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here. Let's go! Whoo! That's what I'm talking about. She did not like the bluegill. I was just slow rolling it on the perimeter of their nest. We got us a freaking chunk creek bass. Check that out. That is a beautiful bass beautiful she crushed that thing she was following it for about 10 yards i want to say and i seen her just cruising right behind it real slow i didn't think she was going to eat it but as i got closer to me i seen her mouth open up she just barely got on the side here but she got pretty freaking good ah, there we go heck yeah that is a nice creek chunk right there let's get a good release on her it's probably 16 incher Heck yeah. Hooked up. What the heck? Are you serious? Cannibals in here. <laughs> it's a 
pretty big bluegill though. Right there on the bluegill square bill, man. You guys are vicious. Eating your own kind out here. Hey, we'll take it though. A little six inch bluegill. There you go, buddy. All right, I've come a little bit downstream and I've happened upon another nest situation here. So we're gonna give the leech a try again. See if we can't pick up the male and the see if the females around here. Cause I know there's some nice bass in here and we caught a really nice one so far. And I'm already over the moon about my day. Caught a nice 16, 16 and a half incher and then a nice 12, and, 12 inch, 13 inch male. I mean, look at this creek guys. It's, it's literally 15 yards to the other side of the bank. So you can't really ask for too much, but a nice two pound female and another male that was around a pound, pound and a quarter. That's awesome catches. Let's try to keep it going. Hooked up. Oh God, we just got another monster. Come on, baby. Don't get off. I'm getting in the water, I don't care. Guys, we just hooked another nice fish on the leech. Let's go! Let's freaking go! Can I get back up the creek? <laughs> Check this creek bass out, guys. What a healthy fish. It's probably pushing two pounds. Whew, they are just smoking that eclipse leech. Look how thick. That is a beautiful creek bass specimen. All right, let's get this fish back in the water. Some fish. There she goes. Heck yeah. When I'm fishing these creeks, I like to pitch overhanging trees because their root systems are very complex. And a lot of fish enjoy hiding in the tree roots because there's so many spots for them to hide and ambush prey. Oh, I see a nice bass. It's a nice one too. It's a really nice one. Come here, buddy. Boat flip. Yes. Let's go. Right there on the leech. It's a beautiful creek bass. I seen him sitting in the shallows, sunning himself. Pitched right in front of him. He went and took it. Probably like 12 incher. I'll toss him over here. It's like a four foot drop, but kind of deep right here hooked up that's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice one let's get back down there see if you got any buddies Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Look at that knot. Rip. Dang, dude. Let's see if I can catch a fish with my hands. Oh my goodness. What? I got him with my hands. No way. Come here, buddy. I got a huge knot in my line. No. I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly rod him. Boat flip. Let's go. <laughs> you guys, there's a huge. <laughs> Look at that knot in my line. I just got him jigging with my hand. Nice creek chunk. I gotta re-rig my whole dang setup. Right there on my hands. Let's go. It's really deep out there, so we'll try to get him head first. <laughs> pack it in. You pack it out. Look at that knot. I'm gonna cut it right there. Go through my guides again, then 
put your braid in your bag. I'm gonna have like 30 or 40 yards, so you definitely don't want you don't want any line out in nature because birds get snagged in it and other animals. So set just like that. I'm gonna cut it and re-rig my stuff here. Look at all this braid I lost. I probably lost 30 yards. That sucks. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Braids are not cheap. But see, if you just left this out here, especially since the color I'm using, it's like a low, it's like a high-vis green, like a neon green color. This can get wrapped up in birds' feet and cause just a mess. So make sure you always take this with you when you leave. Come up on a little concrete bridge here. Looks like we got some depth. Got some catfish rod holders in front of us. There's gotta be bass around here, right? All right, I'm seeing a bunch of minnows and stuff scatter on the banks around here. So I'm gonna switch to a square bill. They're probably keyed on, they probably keyed in on some bait fish. So I'll give this a shot around these, under these trees, near these brush piles, see if we can't get some bass on it. Up. Little guy on the KVD crank. There we go. Beautiful little bass. Oh, come here, buddy. The bite's kind of slowing down. Sun's kind of went away, overcast. Still catching little ones, but we'll probably call it here in a minute. All right, everyone, I'm gonna call it a day. The sun kind of went behind some clouds. The temperature started dropping and the bite kind of disappeared after about an hour. Caught a couple there on the square bill at the end of my trip. Fished here for about three and a half, four hours almost. Caught some beautiful bass. I, this is why I love creek fishing right here, guys. I mean, this creek you can see behind me, probably 10 yards max to the other side caught some beautiful bass seen some awesome bass spawning caught some males caught some females on the beds the nico leech tore it up the kvd little bluegill square bill if they didn't hit that leech i'd throw that bluegill right on the perimeter of the nest and just slow roll it past them and they would not they did not like that at all if i didn't get them on the leech i'd pick them up on the square bill but I had a fantastic day here in a little creek out in the middle of Wayne National Forest. You, you can't really ask for much more, honestly. I mean, what, catching two, two and a half pounders out of a little creek on some light gear? That's, that's why we do it, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the action, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!